Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. Today we will create a program that prints square or rectangle patterns using nested for loop begin. So the first thing we do is create our outer for loop here, say for and then and i equals to one and then i as long as i is less or equal to let's put a number there you can put any number you want then i plus plus we increment i by one and then let's open this code block and print out i so say sys out and then let's print out the value of i and c so uh, our outer loop will be responsible for the uh, for the rows and then the inner loop will be responsible for the columns all right so uh, so the, it will look something like this if I may demonstrate and then another one and then another one something like that so uh, the outer loop will be responsible for these rows and the inner loop will be responsible for these columns right here all right so let's build our logic so we finished our outer loop so now we need to build our our inner loop so we come here just before the uh, the print line and we say uh, for so because this one is i we can give it the next the inner loop a different uh, variable name so we say int let's say j equals to one and then as long as j is less or equal to let's say five for now and then increment j by one and then open up this code block as well and let's print j we can print j out like that and give it an say j and print it and let's print use the print method instead of print line because we want the square or the or the rectangle pattern so now let's because you cannot identify which one is the inner loop or which one is the outer loop let me change the names so i'll give this one an x and this one a y say y and print again so as you can see our inner loop starts here and th they are represented by this y and our outer loop are represented by the x and then actually you don't need you can remove this x and leave it as a space like that so that uh, the outer loop will just be responsible for uh, taking us to the next row and the next one and the next one until we come out of the loop so let's run again and now it's working and we can just change this y to something that makes more sense like an asterisk like that and so now we have a button of a rectangle and we can change this to get a square we can change this to five times two we get ten we get a, a square and so you can play around with this uh, the length of these variables and you get different patterns and so to understand the logic behind this so so let let me explain what is happening here our outer loop will loop once for every 10 loops that the inside loop will make and on the first iteration the program will check if it is less than five and then if so it will execute the inner loop 10 times before coming out of the loop and then it will go back to the outer loop and see if i is still less than five and then go back inside the inner loop in loop again for 10 times before coming out of the loop and the process repeats over and over again until i is is greater than five then it will come out of outside of the outer loop and the program terminates and these are uh, stars are printed and the patterns are formed so guys that's it for today if you have any questions uh, post it in the comment section below 
I will see you in the next session.